So, you want to change your view. Well, go outside and look to the left instead of looking to the right. There you go. Hey guys, one by Test by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.81 once again. And uh, I want to go ahead and talk something kind of simple today, but a lot of people have been asking me about this, especially like first-time Blender users and beginners. So I want to go ahead and take this opportunity to explain to you how to change your view and change things. Once you open Blender, this is, this is what it's going to look like to the left-hand corner or the right-hand corner or the bottom right-hand corner or the bottom left-hand corner. Your cursor will turn into a plus. You see that? See how my cursor is turning into a plus down there? Now, you can go from any one of these things up here, the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, as long as your cursor turns into that little plus, you can drag from this side, drag to the left now, and you can see our, our view is going to be split into two. So if I, if I drag that and click and drag, click and drag it, all the way to the center, or over here, over here, doesn't matter where it, where it, where it is, just let go, and now you can see that we have two different views. I can move over here on this one, I can, I can hit tab to go into edit mode on this one, and mess around with some vertices, and you'll see that it will be mimicked on the other uh, viewport as well. So hit G to move these vertices, by the way. Right click to can, uh, right click right click to cancel and then tab to go back out of edit mode. You can see uh, I can now go ahead and change this view or this view, either one of them, to uh, to a different thing by hitting this little button up here. So let's see this little button with the little like like plus not plus, but it's like a it's like a little pound symbol and there's like a ball at the top of it right here. So if I if I click this, it'll change the editor type. So I can change this to the 3D viewport, which is the one we're on, or I can go to the image editor, the UV editor, the shader editor, all these different things. Now the dope sheet is kind of like the timeline down here. So you can see if I add in the keyframe by hitting I on our on our on our uh, in our viewport, I location, you see a keyframe has been added up here. And it's also been added down here. If I if I hit G to move this keyframe, it will also move up there. So it's the same thing. This is the dope sheet. It's just a simplified version of it because this is what the timeline it looks like. Uh, they're the same thing. So the dope sheet can also be changed to the graph editor. The graph editor is how you change um, like also keyframes a little bit. But let me go ahead and add another keyframe. I'll show you show you what I mean. So if I hit this, if I grab default cube here and hit G to move him upwards, and then hit I location you can see what we've done if we've added a bunch of keyframes uh here it's added a bunch of keyframes that we can now manipulate so the the tallest one is the z because z goes all the way up so we changed the value of it being down here to being up here quite a bit but you can see it's also off center a little bit because i just hit g and i didn't move it straight up it's off center of the x just slightly so if i hit b to make a little bit of a line you can see it's off center from the x a little bit um so the X kind of went over up just a little bit, and then it's a little bit more off of the Z, so uh, off of the Y, sorry. So it kind of went back quite a bit. So instead of going straight up, it went over a little bit like this diagonally. So there's also a little bit of a Y difference. That's what these are right here. So if I move these, you can see they will get further and farther back. Um, and up and, and more up and down and stuff like that. So just changing your view can do a lot of things. You can go to the shader editor, change up the material a little bit, uh, go to render viewport shading here, and then just change the material a little bit, change it to all these different colors, more specular, uh, less roughness, more metallic, you know, just all kinds of things you can do here just by changing your viewport. Uh, and you can also not open up a new one. Oh, I did that kind of quick. Let me do that again. Let me open up this tab once again. So let's pretend I didn't do that. <laughs> now, if you want to close this, <laughs> You can go ahead and uh, put your cursor back on the side of where which you want to keep. So if you want to keep this viewport over here, put your cursor in this one and then make sure it's a plus. If you want to keep this this viewport, put your cursor up in this one and then make sure it's a plus. What you're going to do is you're going to drag and then you're going to pull it to the side, to the side you want to get rid of. So you see that big arrow coming to focus? If you let go, then it will get rid of that entire viewport. I can open up another viewport here and then change this to the 3D viewport and then in my with my cursor over this side, grab drag pull it over and now that one's gone so you can also just change this one you don't have to have a separate one you can just change this one over and over again if you want to um, but it's a lot easier to have double especially if you're doing a material you can just drag this open change it to the shader, shader editor and then just mess with the material right here in uh rendered viewport shading so there you go that's how you change your views that's how you change your stuff you can see more stuff you can drag all these open really and change all of these so if you want to real quick if you want to open this up change this from the outliner to the properties tab you can do that change it from the preferences change it to the uh, console change it to the uh change this one to the image editor change it to whatever you want you can always do that um, and you can uh, go right on back to the regular viewport by going ahead and going up to uh, it's up here somewhere I believe oh well you can just go ahead and open up a new layout here so you can go up and go to uh, you can go up to general and then go to layout and then you see it'll be the same thing once again 
But if you want to go back to that layout, you can just go up and go to this layout right here. So, um, yeah, that is it for today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you in the next tutorial, but until then, bye-bye.